All right, welcome to part two of the unboxing series. In this unboxing, we're going to do a couple of items because one of them you really can't unbox, and the other is just a small item without a lot to say about it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wish to review, or quote unquote unbox, is the Quick Clot 25 gram um, in, a, uh, in a bleeding packet. Inside is a quick clot formula, which is designed that once you tear it open, you pour it in. Well, I'm not going to go into the uh, specifics of it because of legal issues, but if you do wish to find out how a quick clot works, um, YouTube and Google are your friend. There are good tutorials on how to use it, but be warned, it is graphic. Um, this is generally for an emergency use only, and this is going to be added to my medical kit, which I will review later on. Okay, so that was quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get on to the next item. The next item is the Power Add um, Apollo Mobile Power Brick. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. All right. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and read through some of the specs real quick before we get into the actual device. So the Power Add uh, Apollo. Uh, has a high capacity of 7200 mAh, which will allow you to charge an iPhone eh, maybe three times, um, three and a half if you're lucky, and uh, it will also charge an iPad one and a half times. So that's quite a bit of power that's stored up in this battery. It does have a solar power or panel, as you can see, so you can leave this in the sun, or with this particular device, you can leave it in a cloudy day and it will still charge your device. That said, even with full sunlight, it will take 24 hours to recharge your device. Now you might say, hey, or the bird, why would you want something like that? Why would you want something that takes 24 hours to charge itself? Well, truth be told, if you use this, you're going to have, let's say, two to three charges, uh, just to be on the safe side. So let's say you have to charge your phone once a day, which is a lot if you're camping. If you're using your phone that much, you're not really camping. So let's say you, should, you have to charge your phone once a day. Well, then you can charge your phone two times safely. Three times is almost guaranteed. So, well, three days is more than 24 hours. So as long as you don't get um, some sort of um, problem with sunlight and you keep it in the sunlight most of the day, you shouldn't have any issue. This is also really good for bug out bag, which is what I'm using it for, because you never know what, what situation you're going to be in, and you may not have access to a power outlet for quite some time. Oh. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath there. Okay. So, um, after that, it does have LEDs to display the power level. And, um, yeah, well, let's skip the boring stuff. Okay, so on to the device. The device comes with an um, instruction manual, a uh, USB power cable, and several different adapters for different uh, phones. This does not come with an iPhone 5 adapter, so you'll have to use your own USB power cable to uh, use it or purchase an adapter separately. This particular one will support micro USB, um, looks like FireWire, uh, PSP, and the um, large iPhone connector. I forget how many pins that is. Is it 11? 11 pins? Anyway. So it comes with these four um, adapters. Surprisingly, it also comes with a carabiner, so you can attach it to your backpack or whatever, but honestly, I wouldn't trust this carabiner with a, a device like this. I would just put it inside some sort of case if you have one. Unfortunately, the device does not come with a case. All right, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at the device itself. All right, so here's the device. The device itself is a plastic body with a... Um, just a regular uh, plastic texture. I was hoping when I purchased it, it would have a rubberized texture. Um, the way the plastic looks, it looks like it would have a rubberized texture, but it does not. Um, the front of the device, as you can see, has a very large uh, solar panel, which gives it um, a fast charge rate. Um, there isn't really anything um, much to say about the, the solar panels themselves except that they are crystalline so they can charge even when the um, sun is overcast. So let's go ahead and check our battery level. Give it a few seconds to calculate. It looks like it has full power so that is surprising to me. Um, I'm not sure whether the device was charged before they put it in the package or if it charged by induction or what but it, uh, it is a fully charged power pack. That said, I'm going to do my best to drain the battery on this 
and then recharge it just to test the uh, specifications that it said in the package that it takes 24 hours to recharge. I live in Texas, so there's lots of harsh sunlight here, and I imagine it will make a best case scenario kind of test. So um, let's go ahead and discuss a couple of the other things. The device itself has two ports on the top. It has a USB standard, and then it also has a uh, micro USB uh, port. Uh, these ports are for the charging of devices, but you can only charge one device at a time. You can't charge more than one, which is something you should know. Um, that's, or not should know, but you should be aware of. Uh, on the back, we do have the Made in China sticker. Uh, but, you know, I can't fault them for everything. They do have some pretty good um, products. So, um, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, oh, weight, it's about one pound, uh, maybe slightly more. So it is quite heavy for what you're getting, but realize that this is an emergency device that has multiple functions and is extremely handy. You'll be hard pressed to find one of these devices with this kind of capability for this price tag, which by the way, the price tag for this was $30. Yeah, $30. So it is totally worth picking one of these up, even if you don't plan on using it, because if you have it, then you, when you need it, you will have it. And it's better to have and not need than need and not have. All right, a little bit of wisdom from Early Bird. All right, so we will get on with the next device and the, or excuse me, the next package and the unboxing video. The uh, campware set, and I will also add in one more item uh, because cooking ware is quite boring in and of itself to do an unboxing. So this is Early Bird signing off.